Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. So if you have encountered an error that says this app can't run on your PC, then probably the app you're trying to launch is likely incompatible with your operating system. However, there can be some more reason behind this problem and that all we will be discussing in this video. Now the very first solution that I would recommend you that try to disable all the unwanted startup application. So make a right click on your Windows icon. Then from the suggestion, you will have to click on task manager. Now here on Windows 11, from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on the startup apps. On Windows 10, you will find on the top. Now once you come up here, you have to look for those applications, those third party application or unwanted application that are being enabled. All right, so what will happen once this application will be enabled, they will be booting up along with your computer. It will be running in the background and it can cause some kind of problem while opening other application. Okay, so what you have to do, just make a right click on it and choose disable. Microsoft Edge, I will disable it because I can open it manually whenever I have to use it. OneDrive, you can disable it. So look for other application here, whichever you don't need at the startup, go ahead and disable them. Once done, next you also need to make sure that you have downloaded and installed the right version of your software. For example, if you are using Windows 10 32-bit version and if you have downloaded any application that belongs to 64-bit, then probably you might have a problem. Similarly, if you are using Windows 11 64-bit and you are trying to install any kind of 32-bit application, then also you can have the problem. All right, so what you will have to do, go ahead and just uninstall that application. Then click on your Windows search, type system. And from the suggestion, you will have to click on system information. Now here you have to look for the system type and it says x64. So that means it's 64 bit. But if it says x86, then it means that it belongs to 32 bit. All right, so once you know the system type, again, you can go back to that particular website. So now here for example i will take this notepad plus plus and you can see that it's available for both 32 bit and 64 bit now instead of 64 bit as i'm using the 64 bit system type if i go ahead and install the 32 bit application then probably i will have the same problem and i will be getting the same error that this app can't run on your pc so if you're using 64 bit go ahead and download the 64 bit application and then try to use it so once you have installed the application, next what you have to keep in your mind that is start that particular application with the admin rights. So you can right click on that application icon. Then you can click on properties. Click on compatibility. And here you can check the option that says run this program as an administrator. Select it, then click on apply and then click on OK. But now in case if none of the solution work for you, then you can also try enabling the developer mode on your windows 11 as it allows the user to run undesigned universal windows platform application and this way you can install uw app from outside the microsoft store without any problem okay so what you have to do on windows 11 right click on the windows icon click on settings in the settings search you have to type developer and click on use developer features and then here you can enable this option of developer mode. Then you will have to click on yes. Now once it's been enabled, go ahead and restart the computer and again try to run that particular application and see that if the problem has been fixed or not. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully all this solution will be surely working for you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And still if you have an issue, then also you can let me know in the comment section. Till then take care. Bye bye.